Freshwater bait in salt water. Will it work? <laughs> now, this is a bit of a mad idea, even for me. I had a load of maggots and freshwater worms left over for some coarse fishing about a week ago. They've been in the fridge a couple of weeks. They need to be used. But my hay fever has been really bad. I didn't really want to go to a coarse fishery uh, with lots of pollen in my eyes. So I thought... <laughs> Let's give it a go. I've come to the River Ada and um, so the sea is about two kilometres I had a look on Google Maps. So about, was it, one and a half miles. So we've got salt water. I fished here. Uh, I started fishing here at the start of the year and uh, we'll tell you about that later because I competed in the River Ada Flounder Championship. Done all right as well. Uh, and I had never fished this estuary at all until the start of this year. We're going to go into more detail, but today, yeah, maggots uh, and some worms, freshwater worms. And we're going to see if we can catch anything in salt water. I might look like a complete idiot, as per usual, but I might pull up a fish. I don't know. I don't know. But the fingers are crossed. The rods are out. Right, let's show you what I'm doing. Top swivel. We've got two up. One down. We are using um, 70 centimeter snoods with little size eight Kamazan worm hooks. Uh, obviously I want fairly small hooks because I'm, I'm trying to hook maggots. Never thought I'd be saying that up here. But what we're doing is we're putting about 20 maggots. So it looks something like that. Um, will that work? Now my only worry is in salt water, do maggots just disintegrate? Do they explode? How long would they live? Do they just die straight away? I don't know. I haven't got a test. This is not one of them videos when I kind of already know what's going to happen. I haven't got a clue. On the bottom, in the top hook, we're actually going to use a worm. Now, these are freshwater worms. So we're just sort of threading it on like a, like a ragworm, really. Um, these worm hooks have got little barbs at the top of the hook to keep it in place. And we're just sort of throwing it out at the moment a bit like that. Now, if I was a fish from the salt water or fresh water, I'd be munching that, I tell you. Um, but again, I don't know, these these sort of freshwater worms, how long do they last in salt water? Do they die straight away? I don't know. We've started off with very small sort of rolling around weights. Um, that hasn't worked. There's loads of weed first cast, loads and loads of weed. Wherever I go now, just weed follows me around. Yes, yes, we've got a fish first cast on that rod. It's just starting to rain, but it doesn't matter because we've got a fish on the first cast. Yay, that took the worm. About, it's just under 19 centimeters. It's not the biggest bass you're gonna see on YouTube, but it's one of the most appreciated ones, I can assure you. And we're gonna put him back safe and sound. But I just wanted to catch a fish with some freshwater baits, and I did it. But I am going to stay and hopefully get something bigger. Yeah. 
second cast on that rod, another bass, just over 19 centimetres uh, on the worm again. They love the worms, which is not a surprise. It's um, There are beds and beds of uh, red rag up here, or maddies or harbour rag, whatever you want to call them. Uh, there's beds and beds of them up here. Uh, um, and them little air worms, they're not a lot different. They look quite similar. Um, we're chucking back nice and quickly. But yeah, uh, it's going all right. We've had a couple of fish. That's all I wanted. Will we get a bigger one? That's thy question, isn't it? It's literally a fish of cast. I cast that in and it took it within three seconds. <laughs> They love the old earthworms. Right, we've just packed up. I actually caught another four or five, I think it was. Uh, pretty much one a cast. Every single one, every single bass was almost identical in size, give or take half a centimetre, all about 19 centimetres. Um, I could have moved up a little bit and give it a bit longer, but I, I kind of need to get home. Uh, I'm very busy at the moment. But, uh, I, I didn't really go over um, how I started sort of coming up here to fish at the River Ada. So I had never done any winter flounder fishing. I had never done any sort of fishing like on these sort of tidal estuary bits. So uh, obviously I've been doing all these competitions all over the country for the last couple of years. Uh, you know, I've been driving five and a half, six hours up to Yorkshire to compete in competitions and over in Dorset and going all over the place. I'd never fished any local competitions, which is mad really, because that's how everyone starts apart from me. So at the end of last year, I thought, well, maybe I can try and get a few local competitions. I found out about the River Ada Flounder Championship. This There was two rounds in January, started at the start of January, uh, two rounds in February, so four rounds in total. A guy called Paul Robinson runs it, uh, who works at Lagoon Bait and Tackle over in Hove. Um, and I, I signed up for it. I thought, well, why not? Now, because I, I didn't have any idea what I was doing, New Year's Eve at the start of the year, which is, what, five months ago, um, I came up here with Ben Arnold. We've met Ben Arnold in the videos before. He's been a great help to me. Uh, obviously, had his, he won a gold medal for England um, last year in the home nations over in Ireland. So, I'm very, very experienced. One of the best anglers in the UK. Uh, and I came up here with him and another guy called Joe Wales. Uh, it was the first time I met Joe, actually, and I get on really well with Joe now. Lovely bloke. I see him at all the competitions. He's a very good local angler. Uh, he won a round of the Southern League, actually, last year, which uh, we all know how hard that is if you follow my YouTube videos. Um, so I came up with them two on New Year's Eve, and I learn kind of what to do ben and joe showed me what to do it was a two hook rule in the uh the river ada flounder championship it's very simple fishing so we were fishing uh one down one up flappers around 60 centimeters with sort of size four hooks everyone kind of uses the same rig very simple bait wise you need reds 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 if you're new to fishing it gets confusing because i didn't really know this but reds maddies and harbour rag all the same thing different parts of the country they call it a different thing um so uh, i caught a, quite a big one on that day i think it's like 38 centimeters or something it was quite a big flounder i was quite happy um anyway about two or three days later colin carey um who's a, a very very one of the best anglers actually around he's um, so consistent he's just a southern league and he's one of these people i don't think the whole of last year he had one bad result um but it, colin's another guy who's helped me massively as well i uh, spent quite a lot of time with me actually um but he put on a little match up here so i came and had a go at that uh, i had i remember exactly i having a 118 centimeter flounder and I caught an eel, a silver eel. Everyone laughs at my eels because I go to all these competitions. I always end up catching either a conger eel or a, or a silver eel. Um, 
and no one else catches any. I'm not some sort of like eel charmer. Uh, but, uh, I, and I actually won, um, that was the biggest fish on the, on, on the competition. So I actually won some prize money on that one. Um, the next night was the first round of the River Ada Flowder Championship. So I'd never fished it before. And within a matter of days, I've been up here three times. Round one, I came fourth, which I was really happy with. Uh, I didn't have a huge amount of fish, but I had a fourth. The second round, I had uh, a third, which is really good in the money. I think the third round, I think I had another fourth. Now, going into the final round, Paul Robinson, who runs it, was actually done really well. I think he won the first couple of rounds, and he was leading. Now, before... I think I went into the last round. I think I was about fourth in, in the in the league table. And if Paul blanked and I won, I could have actually won the whole league. It was possible. Uh, and I said to Paul before the match, I say, oh, I hope you're blank tonight, Paul. No, Paul did blank on that night. Um, but there was a problem. So did I. I blanked. Uh, but I think I still came fifth in the league. Remember, I've never done it before. So we didn't film any of that. This was, remember, January, uh, February up here is rough. It, the mud, my, no, all of my kit has never recovered from the mud. And this is true. Hand on my heart. Last week, I was washing my car and I'm still washing mud off the inside of my car. It is now early June and, and I last fished up here in the middle of February. That's how much mud there was. My box, everything is still covered in mud from there. I've never been able to get rid of it all. Um, but it was good fun. It was good fun. And I learned a huge amount over a two month period from not knowing anything to knowing, well, quite a lot. Very peggy though, the, um, flounder fishing. For example, I think round one, pegs one, two and three were they caught loads and loads of fish peg four five and six no fish at all then peg seven and eight caught fish it's that peggy um but it was good fun i don't know if i'll do it again this year i might do it again it depends how it works they do it on weekday nights so it depends where i'm working in the country and everything else but yes flounder fishing uh that was it i, I should come up here and do a little film um of some flounder fishing at some point. I have a, have a proper good go at it. But that's it, folks. Thank you for watching. Um, come and subscribe on YouTube. Um, loads of videos coming up. Loads and loads. We've got the Southern League. The Southern League is back. Uh, when will you be watching this? Uh, yeah, so it'll be about two weeks from when you're watching this video. Um, and now we will have the next round of the Southern League. They've done a great job to get us back out fishing, not all the social distancing in place and all of that sort of stuff. But that video is coming up. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram at Real Jimmy Willis. And I'll see you next time.